This time uh, I will solve uh, an example for pulley or belt friction. So this is my example. There is a pulley here. Coefficient of static friction is 0.4. Coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.2. Now sometimes the problem may not give you two values. May give you only one value. In that case, both cases it is uh, that uh, no static or dynamics. Both cases is same. Now, uh, there is an object here which is uh, 100 kilogram. Now, kilogram is a mass, it is not a force. So, uh, we, we need to convert it to force. And then somebody is pulling this way. Yeah. The question is, what is the value of T? What is the value of T? To hold the load, hold this load in place. That means the load is going down. I am holding it. In that case, what is the value of T? Second question, to intend to lift up, that means I want to lift up. I am not totally lifting up, but my intention is to lifting up so that the motion is this way. In that case, what is the value of T? Third is, I will lift up as a constant speed. That means I will lift up the object at constant speed. Constant speed. In that case, what is the value of T? Now, what is this? Difference between these two intend to lift up. That means the body is not moving up, but it is intends to move up. That means the body is not in motion, or simply this will apply statics, static friction. This one it will it will go up at a constant speed. Constant speed is also equilibrium problem. Why? Because uh, constant speed means there is no acceleration. Velocity is constant. No acceleration means no. Uh, unbalanced force okay that is a different discussion uh, we will do it we do it in dynamics class not yet okay so what is our equation to solve t high equals t low e to the power mu theta this u means exponential in your calculator e x p okay first case to hold the load in place that means my load is going down i have to hold it so if my load goes up, uh, goes this way my frictional force this way my frictional force this way that means this plus this will be this uh, will be this load that means this will be higher so if i am to solve it so case number uh, one Case number one will be higher. This now, if I want to convert it into Newton uh, times 9.81 meter per second square, which is 981 and uh, Newton. So, case number one, who is uh, higher? This value. Oh, let me say it again. So, case number one, uh, the body is going down. I am holding it. So friction force is helping me because body is going down, friction is this way. Always friction is opposite to the motion. So this will be higher, this will be lower. So in that case, uh, 981 Newton equals T e to the power, what is mu? The body is not moving, it instant to move. I'm holding in place. So it's mu S, so 0 0.4, 0 0.4, not 0.2. What is the, the theta? The angle subtended by the uh, pulley. In this case, is 90. 90 means pi by 2. So angle will be in radian, not uh, degree. So now you can solve it, and whatever you will get, that is the value of t. Okay. Now I will do number two. To intend to lift up, the body will go up. If the bo okay before uh, starting B, uh, take a pause and make sure that you understood uh, that 981 is my T high. This will be T low. So it is very important to identify which one is low, which one is high. Okay, now number B. Intend to lift up. That means my motion will be up. If my motion is up, my frictional force will be down. Okay, so the body will lift up, 
frictional force will be down. So my T should exit friction and exit this load. So my T will be higher. So T high. So T low will be now 981 e to the power 0.4 pi over 2. So this time my T will be T high. Okay, or simply we can write T. So my T will be this portion now. Okay, so you can see that there will be huge difference, not only one. This T and this T are not same. To, even if you, you, can, you can apply common sense, there is something there, you just want to hold it. Very simple. But if you want to pull it up, you have to apply it like, like greater force. Case number three, to lift up at constant speed. That means we need to lift it up at some speed, constant speed. That means my frictional force again down, this will be high. But as it is in mo it is in motion, it is in motion, so we cannot use mu s. We cannot use this. We have to use mu k 0.2 pi by 2. So that is the difference between B and C, mu s and mu k. This remains the same. Okay, so sometimes in your uh, book or in your exam, they may not give you two values. In that case, these two will be actually same. Uh, to lift, intend to lift up or to lift up at constant speed, both cases it will be same if you have um, only one value. Sometimes I saw that in many books, they give only one value. Okay, so hopefully you understood the friction fully now friction, uh, if there is no friction, uh, then this force and this force always same. Whether you lift it up or you let it go or you just hold it in place. So, but if there is friction, there is a confusion, one side high, one side low. You have to identify which side is high, which side is low. Okay, so I will stop here. In the next video, I will solve another friction problem. Thank you.